La Badiana. We're sitting here on the red couch in Providence Park in Key Bank, Bank Club. In the Key Bank Club here with my boy Vetus, Yo. who has been defending every single question I've asked. So enjoy. We're going to be diving in to all kinds of things from football to books to life. I don't know your full name. I just know nobody it's knows. Vetus. Nobody does. Still nobody knows. Everybody. How, how did you get away with just going, just having that on your jersey, just going by Vetus and stuff? So did... the story is like, I went to Poland, the first country I left Lithuania, and I'm still, my surname is Andruszkiewicz in Lithuanian oh, yeah. language. Oh, wait, say it again. Andruszkiewicz. It's not that easy if you practice a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and my name is Vitotas. So when I yeah. went to Sweden, my mother's like, don't change something, you know, that people are still struggling because my mother... Uh, is a lawyer, so everyone who is uh, out of the country yeah. can pronounce her name. So she's like, put it Andres or Vitas, whatever. I'm like, why not? It would yeah. be fun. And I, funny thing, I was the second one after Zlatan wearing the name in Swedish League. Really? And I guess I'm the first one in MLS who wears the, the name on it. Now, do you always just go by Vitas now? Pretty yeah, much everywhere? and when I, when I signed for Timbers, I needed to send some pictures to MLS to prove that I had in Sweden my name on it. Yeah. Because you can. And it's just too long and probably it's going to be too complicated <laughs> yeah. for the commentators to say quick, oh, Andrzejewicz is with the ball, you know? Yeah, right. Have you always just played soccer? In my country, basketball is a big thing. And I started with basketball, but I was too young for my family to drive me over every day. Yeah. So I quit and then um, football coach came, soccer coach came yeah. and tried to take the guys and everybody of us, my old friends, we went there. And I was always good with what I have and I really liked it. It's yeah. much fun. A lot of good guys. I have three daughters at home. Wow. Um, which is well, crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's, she, I have a really foxy wife. She keeps it easy. <laughs> foxy. Um, <laughs> and it, how, <laughs> my oldest daughter, she plays defender. So I, had, okay. I, growing up, I played basketball and golf. I always thought soccer was crazy because it just looked like you guys just run a lot and kick a ball. I'm like, that's like so much running. But then watching my daughter play, I'm like starting to, now I'm starting to understand it and get the under, it's like, it's very strategic. I mean, I went to basketball games several times and probably for the people, it's more exciting to watch basketball because it's many more points. Oh, yeah. It's like the keeping drive. But the, the ones who understand soccer, football, the, that's the thing. And like, to understand how they move balls, how the tactics are. And the most euphorical thing is when they score the goal. And yeah. it's not happen often, but when it happens, it's the like really, really big thing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all what people like. I mean, everybody yeah. we are different. I like soccer. Have you always played defender? No, so the first 10 years I was midfielder. Yeah. But when I signed my first professional contract and I went, and that's the funny thing, like, uh, some coach in your career, he just can decide that maybe Where he you sees go? you somewhere and change your direction of your life. So he put me on the left back and I'm really happy he did that because as now if I'm a midfielder, maybe I'm not even go out of Lithuania. Yeah. So, so far I'm like, I'm enjoying the yeah. left back. I had to stop playing City League basketball because I get, I get too mad. Yeah. I get really like competitive, you know? I watched some YouTube videos of you. Oh really? Yeah. There is some videos? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, actually it was to an Eminem song. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I, know, good, I yeah. know the guy. Who but at one of the shots, it shows you, you like drive this dude, you like send him into the sidelines. Yeah. Uh, so that's the thing for me. I'm like very friendly and peace yeah. person, you know, out of the, out of the uh, like field. But when it comes to the soccer and gets competitive and it gets like, let's say like a uh, man thing, that's the place where you can be like a yeah. man and that's the place where you fight and out of the pitch you are back in normal life. Yeah. So I love it. I love to be different one on the pitch and then out yeah. of the pitch. I keep calling it soccer, but it's just football. football. Is, is the yeah, best. normally it's football. Yeah, everywhere. True. You're 26, you said, right? Yes. 26. Give me some pointers on how to stay in shape. When I was 21, 18, I didn't really care what I eat, yeah. drinking cola, all this stuff, stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, now when I'm like 25, I'm not even grown up yet. But it comes to the point where you want to be healthy. Yeah. So it's just by yourself. You're looking what you eat. You're looking what you drink. Try to drink water as much as I can. And timbers are trying to, to keep us on like hydration, which is very important. Yeah. So you try to get those good habits and replace them with the bad habits, yeah. which will improve your health. Do you just do some like CrossFit or like a lot of running? I mean, obviously you guys have to be in really good yeah. condition. I mean, it's all up to our coaches and they have a programs when we do what, like today was the harder training in the week, yeah. and then it's gonna be easier, easier because we have a game. But not something like special, because 
when I'm like, I'm like, how many years I'm playing since I was six? So for the last 20 years, every day more or less I'm playing yeah. soccer. So it get to the routine where that's your life and that's like wake up in the morning and get yeah. a coffee or tea or something. It's a habit to, to go be active. I like to be active out of the soccer too. Go do hikes, go travel. Through your career so far, you know, what are some of the, your favorite highlights that you've had? For me, what I'm like enjoying most is funny moments where like you just bring your winger out of the stadium. Like, you know, yeah. like some of them when you just roll over them. Sometimes after the game, if it's something funny, you just send your friends who understand football and just yeah. laugh about it. Yeah. But not something like what I'm like checking every day, you know. Growing up, were a majority of your friends soccer players? Everyone. Yeah. We started with 40 kids with my first coach. And from them, I'm the only one who made like to yeah. a national team who made out of Lithuania. There is few more playing in Lithuania. Yeah. But it, it is hard. It yeah. is hard. I can only imagine. We are a small country. We are like just around 3 million people. And when you kind of see just who playing soccer. Yeah. And if you compare with facilities, what they have here and like yeah. so much more kids are trying and you can choose from much more yeah. you know, options. So it is hard. During the off season stuff, do you get a lot of free time to go travel and do all that stuff? So, Unfortunately, we didn't make it to the playoffs, so yeah. our season ended very early mm -hmm. in November, beginning of November. So we had a huge holidays, like too much. We had like almost all November, December, and like January. Yeah. So three months around. Okay, cool. So it's plenty of time to travel, yeah. rest. It's too much even. But you probably get used to like getting conditioned and working out and playing soccer all the time and stuff. So you probably we do have a program during the, during the holidays oh, just cool. to keep in the shape. Yeah. So you're not coming in. <laughs> just in three months, I think you can forget how to play football. Yeah, to be right. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't do anything, true. But I think your body is just used to, to the yeah. rhythm. So you still need to be like my my traveling is active. I yeah. don't lay on the beach. I just can't stay in one place. So yeah. everything I do is just go around, do this, do that. So you stay active. Do you drink coffee at all? I discovered coffee this summer, last summer, after oh, okay. 25 years. I hated the taste of it. Yeah. And when I was in Lithuania before I came to America. It's just my, my good friend's sisters, they had the really good coffee, one of the best. Yeah. And every time I go, they were like, hey, it's a coffee break, let's do it. Yeah. And, I, and I started to enjoy so much yeah. and it's getting bad habits. Well, and you're, yeah, up here, it's, there's coffee everywhere. I mean, when you came to America, I was expecting to have McDonald's everywhere. Yeah. But like Starbucks, all the rest of the coffees are everyone, every yeah. corner, which is, I don't mind. Yeah. It's not bad, no, especially I mean, if you enjoy drinking it. <laughs> you better drink coffee instead of eating the fast food. Yeah, you. right? Yeah, that's true. Do you have a, uh, a goal for the next five years of playing soccer? Do you have like, I mean, is it just like, yeah, I just want to stay in shape and just want to... We be all do have plans, but yeah. like in my, in Lithuania, we say you are planning and gods are laughing. Yeah. So I don't uh -huh. know how it's here, but you always try to plan. But the same with like the way I came here, I suggest all the countries... Yeah. Except from America, and I came here. Right. So I can be hoping to do well and try to stay here because I really enjoy Portland and I think Timbers are a really yeah. great club and I really love playing here. So in my best, I just can play good, work hard, and hope I can renew contract. But you never know what will happen. You never know when the, you get injured. Yeah. You never know what's going to turn up. So it's really hard. That's why the, the football player's life is very like, every day can change, yeah. especially here. In MLS, they can trade you every day, yeah. all these things. Yeah. Do you have any, like, life goals? Like, For make... sure, I'm not, I, I don't want to get kids in, like, <laughs> next five years. That's no. like, no, no, no. Are you, do you, are, do you have a lady out there? No, I'm, I'm oh, single. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. So we're going to put all this information right here if you guys yeah. need it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, True. Well, you know, I mean, right now you're probably just not in a season for, for that. You know, to have a lady. I mean, well, you're open to it. Whatever. For the last like six, five years, I don't have a lady. When I came here, I didn't have much stuff to bring with me. Yeah. I'm like really solo traveler, yeah. which it's easier. That's it. The really thing. is. You don't have a dog. You don't have a kids. You don't have a wife. You don't have yeah. a girlfriend. Whatever life brings you, like yeah, why not? I'm just like <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so for me, it's easier. Yeah. And I like to my space and. But. Eventually, you want to have kids and, and start a family? Maybe, kind of in a, like, really, really... Like, like, yeah, when you're, 70, when you're 70s. I do yeah. want to have, but 
it's complicated. It's hard. I mean, yeah. it's responsibility. You totally. have uh, three daughters. Yeah, it's. I'm sure it brings you happiness. Yeah. But oh, like, it's great. Four women at house <laughs> can drive you. I used to, well, I have my own little comic room. I have my own room. Uh, we, just where and it, where you have a passcode and uh -huh. nobody knows. Yeah, I deadbolt myself in there and just kind of like, sorry, no one. It's you know. hard. It's hard. Relationship is hard. To grow up the kids is hard because you want the yeah. best for them and it's like whole process to teach them right things and stuff. I'm not ready for it so yeah. far. Beyond soccer, once soccer has fulfilled its you know journey with you. We play just like small part of our life, football, like professionally even less. And after all, it's like some people like to be involved in football. I'm really active, open-minded, and I don't know what's gonna life bring. So you yeah. try to think, you try to invest right money so you're just not yeah. like bringing away because after football it is going to be hard yeah it is hard when like 20 years you were doing this that and now you are like now back what? in the world mm -hmm. and it might be it's true we had the meeting with players union and there were some ex-players talking and like you might think that when you are done people will be like yeah come here come here but it might be nobody will really care who you are because let's be honest we are like we are famous just because we are playing soccer yeah. we are media so far, but when you are done, I mean, yeah, I, I think you just need to find passion, what yeah. you really like, and just try to do whatever you like. And it depends what people are seeking. Like, if you seek for the money, I don't know what you need to do. Right, it's gonna be different. Try to rob bank or something. Yeah, like, I don't. Not, don't the rob, no, rob I'm just banks. Ever, but know. like, <laughs> if you do like, do you like your job? You're. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> if you hate Mondays, you no, don't like yeah. the job. You no, need to I, change. If no, you do something it. with passion, what brings you happiness? Yeah. Everything will come, and in the end, money is not the most important yeah. thing. And speaking along the lines of, of passion, Haiti Play Project, how did you get involved with that? So, yeah, so that's the thing. My friend is the part of, like, nonprofit organization, yeah. HARP, and they were helping when there was a tornado in Florida somewhere last year and was also in Haiti. Yeah. So they flew there, they helped people to restore things. And I was really like, I like to, I like to help people without yeah. even asking nothing bad. Just what makes me feel better, and I think that's what I can give yeah. if I can give. So I'm like, I would like to go there because I have a huge holidays. Let's plan something. I want to see how people are there. Maybe just different life experience. And we came out with the idea that one friend noticed that there is this ball, special balls, who one company made for the people in the poor countries where they made, you cannot explode them. Like yeah. you don't need to pump them. They're always like flat, always, good to play. Yeah. So we're like, let's start to campaign. It's something with me with soccer, what I can use my like name yeah. to, to bring it. We start campaigning in like November and we reach 100, 100 balls. So those balls are here and we bought a tickets. We found four people from his uh, organization to, to go with me because you go there, you need to organize driver, all this. Yeah. It's a lot of things to do, which I didn't even thought about it. <laughs> so we had four people, we bought a tickets. And so our flights are Sunday. And Saturday he got the news from the Haiti like uh, embassy that they caught some like uh, rebellious boss, drug traffic oh, no. guy who were looking for a long yeah. time ago. And the locals, uh, the locals, criminals, they're robbing the, the U.S. citizens and trying to extrade, so it's, not, it's dangerous not safe, to go there. Yeah. So we canceled it, which was unfortunate because I really wanted to go yeah. there just for like four or five days just to bring the kids the ball yeah. and see how it goes. So we need to cancel it just for the safety, and those balls are still in Portland, and next yeah. time they are planning to do it, they will bring it. It's just hard for me because I yeah, knew that was the there, only yeah. place, like, space to go because during the whole year now I'm going to have a season. So. Yeah. You got this next off season that you can yeah for sure. I mean, it's stuff. just something good where it's gonna reach kids who yeah. they need it. Is it easy for you to to teach other people just the the fundamentals of soccer? Yeah, I never tried really to teach kids, but I could go for it. I mean, for the kids, so I can most, bring I can bring Taya, oh, my bring daughter, it. up here and just have you. I think for the kids <laughs> when they are starting, best thing what I had experienced is just to have fun. Yeah. Have fun, many kids around you, yeah. you have fun, you just kick a little bit around, yeah, yeah. you cry maybe, you hurt yourself, <laughs> then you can back together to friends. That's yeah. the key point. Yeah. Like kids, and I'm playing just because I'm enjoying soccer, oh, not yeah. because I want to learn skills and stuff. Then after you are, if you want to just comes along bring with quality. It. Yeah. Yes. So what I would say to them, I will kick two balls and I'm like, guys, get just, just go, like, just, just play, have just fun. do. Yeah. Outside of soccer, you know, you kind of mentioned that it's traveling and hiking. Do you have any other kind of hobbies that you... I mean, I like to try everything. I'm, I was trying last year, my, my, my friend house, they have a drums. 
I oh, try yeah. to drum. I always imagine myself as a good drummer. When I try a few times, I know <laughs> it's hard, you know? Yeah. It's hard. Uh, I like, I used to dance in Holland, like bachata, all these, go just to dance. I know there is some salsa events going on around. Oh, oh salsa just dance. Just to go, yeah, just yeah. to have fun. I don't know, what else? Single go. and salsa dance lover. I mean, that, watch out. No, it's... I'm just Going hiking, exploring Oregon, like I have my bucket list, which I'm doing, and cool. I think Oregon is very rich as yeah. a state. What else? I don't know everything. You just need yeah. to be open-minded. Ever... Like I know this week there is a jazz week in Portland, so you can go. Oh yeah. Jazz. yeah. When it's time to just chill out, it's time to just relax. You got to let your body recoup and stuff. What do you? How do you do that? What do you do? I just stay home and I don't talk with anyone. Yeah. Like since I was traveling all my holidays, and I came back before New Year's Eve. For the last two months, probably, I was just spending time home, reading yeah. some books, playing some video games, talking with my friends, but really not going outside and making new friends because sometimes you just get tired of people yeah. and you just oh, want to... Yeah. need to chill. Yeah. And now it's getting the time where the season will start. I want to go a little bit more outside, help there, help that, maybe try something new things. Yeah. I even don't know what I wanted to try now else. Oh, I went after, after Hawaii when I came back. I went in Portland where you can climb, how, oh, rock climbing, rock ball, yeah. because I really enjoyed in Hawaii just going under the rocks. And I went to try and it's really hard, it's really yeah. difficult. Yeah. So just keep yourself busy with, and yeah. maybe I will find a new passion. That's maybe yeah. the, also the key. And do you have like a, a ritual or some kind of thing to hype yourself up for before a game, before it's, it's time funny. to get... To hype myself, I need yeah. that. I'm listening like yeah. Eminem, Linkin Parks, okay. all this badass music yeah. can make me like sharp because I need to be sharp. Yeah. I need to be like really... Something else, no. It's not like I'm praying or nothing like I'm wearing the first like left shoe than right shoe. Yeah, right. Not really. I don't believe But just those. getting yourself like pumped just, up. But like you need to be focused. You need to get yourself on a, yeah. not take a nap and go on the pitch. And yeah, I'm here. Yeah, so <laughs> drum and bass. I love drum and bass. Before yeah. the game to listen to that music, which like makes yeah. you a little bit adrenaline. Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. Side note, I wanted to ask you this before. Do you watch any television shows? I, I watch Netflix. I watch documentaries. Okay. I watch some comedian stand-ups, but not the the cable TV. Yeah, Harry yeah. Cole, yeah. Other things. You said you read books. What yeah. kind of books do you usually read? Everything. I yeah. mean, everything. Whatever. What comes with like meditation, world, documentary. Yeah. I mean, detective. Variety. Everything. I honestly like, just read Harry Potter, the first book of Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> I went here in Portland like two weeks ago. Three, there was an orchestra. Yeah. So they had a huge screen. Yeah. And they were playing the first movie and the orchestra was Oh, doing, really? Yeah, it was crazy. That's first awesome. time, yeah. I read a variety of books, but I have to mix it in. If I read too many serious books, like my my brain just stops absorbing all of it, you know? And You know, with me, like I did every year you start, you do some like plans for your like, yeah. you need to achieve. So I said every month I need to read three books. It's like two kinds of people. When people read, start one book, end it, and take another one. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm reading three books at yeah. one time. Yeah. So whatever I feel into <laughs> reading, I'm not forcing. What's the last good book that you read? Mm, oh, I read the, do you know the book Shantaram? Mm. It's, it's about India. Yeah. So it used to be the first part, and now they released the second part. About the guy from New Zealand, I guess. So he uh -huh, was in uh -huh. a jail. Then he escaped. It's the base true yes. story. It's one of the best books for me, personally, yeah. about India. And uh, I was waiting for like four or five years for the second book. And yeah. they just like, in the last two months, they just show it. And yeah. I just read it like. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. What about you? Uh, there was a series and this, it's a sci-fi. Um, oh, do you like Rick and Morty? I don't know. There is like, like a Simpsons animation. So oh, Rick and Morty. I love that stuff. Check it. Oh, yeah. It's the best humor. Oh, and Rick and Morty. Okay. Yeah, Rick yeah, yeah, and Morty. Yeah, yeah. And now they, they will make the third season. I can't wait. <laughs> it's a great one. But tell, tell me. Uh, well, it's a, it's this book called Red Rising. It's like more masculine Hunger Games, I guess. Other stuff I just listened to. I did an audio book, yeah. which is rare because you have to have the good audio for it. 31 Days Living with a Seal. It's like okay. living with the fittest man on earth. And it's basically the guy that just wrote about an ex-Navy SEAL come live with him for 31 oh. days to train him. And it's just, it was, uh, I mean, it was a great book. It actually got me, I literally, for two weeks now, I started you know running again. You know which one I'm looking, reading now? Men's Looking for Meaning. In Second World War, where there is a concentration concentration camps, yeah, you remember. So one of the guys writing experience how they get there and how much human can like go further, you know, with yeah. the human being. Yeah. So it's book about that how yeah. how like all experience how they need to work and how like it's just like real yeah. good stuff. It's awesome. Deep. Yeah. What do you usually normally do for fun with your buddies? For fun. Uh, 
when they have FIFA, because I don't have PlayStation or Xbox, uh-huh. and they have FIFA and they think they are good and I beat them, that's, yeah. the, that's the funny part to do it so I can <laughs> remind them. <laughs> so it's more about people around you, yeah. not what you really do something like funny or crazy. Yeah. You can do whatever. No, I want to do naked ride this year, Poland. You are there. Would be fun, though. No? But I will wear the <laughs> ten masks. Yeah, there you go. You gotta wear it. Yeah, I can't let yourself be. But enough. like funny things. I don't know what else. <laughs> Something, you know. <laughs> you can always come with the idea. That, yeah. You know what? Portland has a lot of variety I up know, here. That's I what's know, good I about know, it. I know. I know. <laughs> it's funny. I'm just kidding. But I will do it maybe. Portland's such a foodie town. What's some of your favorite food that you've discovered up here? I mean. Everything. Yeah. I don't go to the same place. I, I have you a don't list. Have to, yeah. No, you just go. And what I like is so many vegans. Maybe it's now the like fashion to be vegan. Who yeah. knows? Whatever. But it brought me to the false like, let's try to get rid of the meat. Yeah. Which I'm trying. I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian. But just eating less of it. Every time I'm trying just to let's replace something. Yeah. And it's fun. I mean, yeah. you discover more food. Yeah. Like whatever I go in a public place and I see vegan dish, I will take that. Just yeah. for fun. Why not? Yeah. I mean, when I turned 30, I did the raw diet. So I was like just raw vegetables yeah. for True. 30 days. And it was brutal. It, but yeah. I found that I had just, I just eat as much as I wanted all the time. My wife, she's a saint. She, had, she made me one raw meal every day. And the thing that's crazy was like it took ingredients to make the ingredients, yeah. which was wild. Look, for me, like, I'm single. I'm living home alone. I'm not the cooking. Like, no, yeah. kitchen is not my best friend. No. I'm not stopping by every time no. to check what is my fridge. I even don't know what is my fridge now. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's fun. I mean, I'm always open minded to try new things yeah. and not eating meat. Just, it's not more about the meat or it's good or you are protecting the planet, whatever. Yeah. It's more about your will. If you yeah. can, willing, like, how far you yeah. can go with that. I noticed about it the most was that it, it changed my taste buds. I'm like, wow, I actually like vegetables. This is weird. And since you've been a little more aware of what you're eating and all that stuff, that it, it helps with your performance? For sure. You can't force anyone. I'm now in the years where I really like and I am like know what I'm eating and what I'm putting in. But before that, I didn't really care. Yeah. So you can't force your kid to stay healthy if they don't want to, yeah. I think. If they want to eat Snickers, let them eat Snickers. Yeah. Majority of people that watch or listen to our, our podcast, uh, are our, our baristas, our, that's what our baristas that work in our stands and stuff. Some of them are going to school, some of them are pursuing other things, yeah. you know. What would you say to them to kind of, I, I mean, mean, you've done a lot of, of traveling around true. following your dreams. It's always here. what I think. I like doing things where not everybody do. I like going the other way. Yeah. Where everybody goes right, I like to go left just to try, yeah. just to see fun. So yeah. I think... Whenever we come to talking about the concentration camp and whatever, I always mention even to my friend that, you know, the people survive in those camps and just by being flexible. Yeah. You need to be flexible. Yeah. You cannot stand with your own truth, own gods, own beliefs and make it through because people are changing. It's yeah. a new, new, new times coming and you need to be flexible with everything. And I think... To be flexible and to be open-minded is yeah. the key to success and to happiness. Life is changing very quick. We're living in a days where every day it's flying. I mean, oh, yeah. we are counting every second and the time goes fast. Oh, yeah. So maybe sometimes it's good to slow down. Yeah. Also. Blessed are the flexible for they shall not be broken. What is that? Oh, it was Ble- Blessed are the flexible for they shall not be broken. Because yeah. you're going to flex. You're not going to yeah. break, you know? Yeah. We have a little group that meets at my house uh, once a month. And we've been talking about this whole year kind of focusing on getting back to the basics of things. And then really uh, one of the things that we talked about is just having quiet time. When you say to someone that you live alone and you like to be alone, I eat breakfast alone sometimes. I go to eat alone. Yeah. That's what I was doing for the last few years and I'm yeah. okay with that. But so people confuse because they think to be alone, it means to be lonely. Mm, yeah. well, it's two different things. Yeah. You can be alone and be happy because like whatever, you know, it's just right. you're enjoying and to be lonely is a different thing. It blows my mind how extremely hard it is to just be still, you know, and yeah. just to be quiet and just to have quiet time even. You know, it brings me even more crazy. I read today about like NASA announced that there is like seven more planets yeah. with three livable. Uh, and when you look like really deep with conversation stuff, how small we are and how yeah. huge universe is. And then it's like, what problems we have? We don't <laughs> right, have any yeah. problems. They're, you know? they're so little. How, you can, how someone can make you upset in like seven billions of people, we are like tiny in this whole universe. Yeah. No big deal. So it makes it a lot easier to go out on the, the pitch yeah. and just lay a dude out and True. sidelines. Why not? Because it's like not even you a big deal. You can't change anymore. the future. It's just this yeah. moment where you can do. Yeah. 
Well, man, thank you so much for having it on the couch. Vita. I'm still waiting for coffee. Uh, I am too, dude. I'm really Shall thirsty. We get a coffee? I'm after. down for that because do I'm. I don't like sweetening thing. I yeah. like regular coffee and a little bit of cream. It makes Ooh, like yeah. perfect. Yeah, for me. All right, guys. Well, thank you uh, for watching, and Vitas, thank you so much for hanging with us and putting up with all these questions and taking the time to spend with us on the red couch. Yeah, it was a pleasure. I, I hope that uh, listeners are going to have fun and enjoy our conversation. And we're looking forward to watching you this season. And are you coming for the, our first opening game? I, well, you are I want coming. to you now. For yeah. sure yeah. you are coming. Sorry, babe. We're coming. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, honey, I love you. Kids at home. Yeah, you're coming that. too. <laughs> and also, he's going to be giving you some lessons, Taya, on the soccer yeah. field. So I hope you, you absorb all that. Cut. <laughs>